Each of us in our group has considered studying abroad. It seems like it is a great way to get a diversified education. The University of Utah Learning Abroad Office offers programs all over the world. You can study anywhere from Cairo in Egypt to Prague in the Czech Republic. Since we all are students considering studying abroad, it was important that we talk to somebody who had gone through the program. Maddie's sister, Taylor Stanley, has spent the summer of 2019 studying in Rome. Maddie set up an interview with Taylor and Taylor talked to Maddie about what the experience really was like for a student learning abroad. A piece of advice that I would give to someone wanting to study abroad is definitely just don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone and explore and also just take advantage of every opportunity that you're given. Um, obviously your main priority should be focusing on your studies but what I found to be the most rewarding about my study, studies abroad experience was the different cultural ex experiences that I had um, getting to explore different art galleries, going to pasta making classes, interacting with locals at restaurants. Um, so definitely put yourself out there and I also made the decision to take weekend trips with friends whenever I had breaks from school and getting to explore different cities also just was such a rewarding experience. I would definitely recommend studying abroad to other students. Uh, I found that most Americans have a hard time breaking out of their comfort zone and traveling to different countries, but even for someone who has traveled, I found it to be a completely different way to experience a culture and understand what it's like to live outside of a country that's not your own. Um, I gained a lot of appreciation for things that I have in the U.S. that I usually take for granted, and I feel like I also recognized a lot of things that, you know, we don't usually see here in America that I wish could be implemented more so it's definitely just a different way to experience the world and overall it's definitely one of the best experiences I've had in college and it's definitely something that I would encourage other students to get involved in. To understand the process of learning abroad we wanted to contact a staff member from the Office of Learning Abroad here at the U. Jacque Williams, the Learning Abroad Coordinator for the College of Humanities, has been a great guest speaker in class, and she seemed like an excellent choice. Delaney reached out to her with some questions, and Jacque kindly agreed to this Zoom interview. So just to kind of get things started, can you introduce yourself and kind of explain what your job position is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my name is Jacque Williams, and I'm the Learning Abroad Coordinator. Um, for the College of Humanities. So any students who are interested in doing a faculty-led program that is in the college, um, an affiliate program exchange or uh, even the UAC, I advise them on that process. Um, addition and the re-entry uh, lead and then the marketing, uh, part of the marketing team for the uh, office. So those are my roles, helping students when they return and also just trying to think about different ways we can engage students to be part of what steps must students take in order to go on a study abroad trip? So with steps, the most important thing and the requirement for all students is learning abroad one-on-one. -on -one. Um, one on one, one oh, one. <laughs> and the purpose of learning about 101 is to give students background knowledge of the different program types that we have, um, as well as things they need to think about as they're deciding on the program of their choice. Um, the other thing is students need to definitely make sure that they speak with their academic advisor because the academic advisor can tell them what courses can be taken if they decide to do like transfer credit, or they can tell them um, when is a good time. So maybe going for a whole semester isn't good for them. Um, there are not enough credits to transfer over or something like that, or it's a big course load, or maybe even the course is only offered in that term. And so they can definitely kind of say, this is, these are the courses that can be brought back, these are the courses you can take, this is where you can go. So yeah, um, that would say that, and then just early, so planning at least a year in advance is something that we recommend because you can look at scholarships and financial aid things like that and make sure that you're not too stressed out when you get to that end game of applying. And how many students typically learn abroad each year? Around like 400 students a full academic year. 200 to 400 is saying as I would say. Yeah. What would you say is the most valuable aspects of studying abroad? 
one that we always highlight is you know, independent growth. Um, you learn to challenge yourself when you're in a different environment and that could 100% help you in the long run, whether it's uh, in your professional career, when you're in an office that you're unfamiliar with, you've already learned how to adapt yourself in a different culture so you can, you know, use those same skills um, in your future career. So things like that, uh, as well as professional development, being able to communicate uh, well with others, especially those who don't share the same values as you. It's something that you learned. Studying abroad is not the same as traveling abroad. When you're traveling abroad, you're kind of getting like the tip of the iceberg of the culture, like a year or two, then you have more time to, um, you know, learn a little bit more. But with learning abroad, you go there for studying. So sometimes you're with local students, Sometimes you're with other international students and, you know, the most important thing is that your university, you're getting education from that country and learning like their different perspectives um, in ways that you might not have the opportunity to hear in the U.S. And so that's something to think about is that it's uh, education is focusing on that cultural and education aspect. We want to thank Jacque Williams and Taylor Stanley for participating in our project. If you would like to learn more about the University of Utah Learning Abroad office, you can visit learningabroad.utah.edu or under normal circumstances, you could visit them in the Union Building.